want to show you really quickly how to add a vignette in Photoshop Elements. Two ways of doing this, one with the guided and the other with the expert. Let's go through the guided first. We're just going to click vignette effect. We can choose if we want the edges darkened or lightened. And here we've chosen darken. We can change the intensity or how much darkening we want to happen to those edges. And then very important to go in this refine shape and we're going to feather this. I'm using a high megapixel camera and so 250 pixels is what I'm going to want here. And that's still not quite as much feathering as I would frankly like. Uh, and then we can change the roundness as well to kind of change the shape of that vignette, but I think the default's okay. All right, so that's one way to do it. I'm gonna cancel out of this though, because I'm gonna show you how to do this in the expert panel as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the elliptical marquee tool. If this shows the square, then just come down here and choose elliptical. We're gonna feather our selection, 250 pixels, and then I'm just gonna click and drag to uh, what kind of shape I want. I can let go and then move, whoops, oh come on, making me look like a noob on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna click this, and then once it stops freaking out, I can move this into place to wherever I want. That looks good to me. Now what I'm gonna do is inverse the selection, shift, command, I, that's the keyboard shortcut, or on a, on a PC, that's gonna be shift, control, I. And now we're gonna hit control C, control V, or command C, command V, or uh, control C, control V on a PC, command C, command V on a Mac. And you can see what we've done here is on a new layer, we've just copied that outside. The reason that it's feathered again is because of what we did here. Now all I gotta do is take this layer and change the blending mode to multiply, and we did it. Those are two different ways to create a vignette effect in Photoshop Elements 11. See ya.